Hi, we're going to take a look at the Civic Evolution Team Workspace. This is where the teams develop their proposals. As we see on this first page, we've got a proposal with five questions, and the team has already started working on two of the answers. We also have the instructions up here that give the team an overview of how the process works. Essentially, they discuss each question, they brainstorm ideas, then they develop their answer collaboratively, and that can be an iterative process. Uh, we'll look into that in more detail in a moment. One of the first things we want to point out is that we've got this little chat feature going on in the side here. And whatever information is entered by one member immediately is shared with all the other members who are online at the same time. So from this first page with the team proposal, we can click on any one of the questions, and that will take us directly to the answer page for that question. As we see across the top in these tabs, each question has four pages, the team discussion page, public comments page, brainstorming page, and the answer page. On the answer page, we can see the answer that we saw that was in the proposal. And before we look at how the team develops the answer, let's jump back to the team discussion because that's where it starts. The pages are indicated on the left with team info, which includes the proposal, define the change, your values, options, recommendations, and next steps. Each one of those pages is a unique workspace for the team. They'll have a chat, as we see here, that is just for that page. And then on the right will be the work that they're doing on this page. Here we're in the team discussion page. Uh, we've got the instructions up at the top, which indicate your goal is to discuss this question, brainstorm ideas about it, and develop an answer. You start by discussing the questions on this page. And there's more questions you can read later. We'll hide those, and we can now just look at the conversation. We can open all the comments if we like. We'll see that this first comment is one that has an attachment, and that allows people to go view that attachment. We can close comments with this little X over on the side. Uh, we can reply to any comment, such as here. And you'll see that this comment was immediately added right into the page. The same will be true when other members are online and they add their content to the page. The public comment section is going to be where comments made by the public will appear and the team can read them and respond to them. The public will only see the proposal view that we started with, that is, the questions and the answers. They can't see the private team discussion, they can't see the brainstorming, and they can't see other kinds of discussion that go on around the brainstorming and developing the answer. The public comments are a great way for the team to introduce its proposal to the public and get some feedback. This feedback can help them refine their proposal, make sure that it's more uh, palatable to the community, and also give them the opportunity to get wisdom from the public. Brainstorming is where the team starts to pull its ideas together from the discussion with an eye toward developing that formal answer. Anybody can enter an idea in brainstorming. In the brainstorming section, all of the ideas that are submitted remain anonymous. Brainstorming is about quantity, not quality. Here we'll add a new idea. And we'll see that that idea got added right to the top of the page. And again, it would show up in everyone else's page at the same time. The ideas will appear in order based on first whether you've rated them or not. This is to make sure that team members will rate new ideas. Overall, the ideas will be listed in order of the importance given to them by the team. 
the point of ordering the ideas according to how the team has ranked their importance allows the team members to see which ideas are most important among the entire team. It also helps them reconsider ideas that the team may not agree with them on. This reconsideration could be to re-rate it or to help explain the idea better. As we see here with view one comment, every idea has a embedded discussion area where you can talk in the specific context of that idea to provide more information, ask questions, etc. Now these conversations that are occurring in the context of the ideas are mirrored back into the main team discussion. So the team members don't need to search through the discussions under each idea. They'll be exposed to them in the normal course of looking at the team discussion. And we can close that discussion. The answer page follows a very similar model. As you see here, we've got this answer. Uh, we can view the comments about the answer and we can participate in them. We can also edit the answer. An answer belongs to the entire team and anybody can edit it at any time. The answers are immediately put into the page and shared with everybody else who's online at the same time. There's also an edit history that allows members to see how the idea has changed. On the answer page, we see the instructions about how to develop the answer. Everyone should review and discuss this answer. You should rate the answer to show your agreement. It's very important that if you have any concerns about the answer, discuss it with the team. The point of developing the answer collaboratively is to come to a consensus answer. So we really need to encourage everyone to discuss that. The process of developing an answer, which includes team discussion, brainstorming, and collaborative editing, is repeated for each question in the proposal. Now as we return to the team proposal page, we can see that the edit we just made for the answer immediately is reflected in the proposal, as well as the proposals that everyone else will see. Now when we refresh the page, and we'll wait for this to load a moment, when we go to the section where we were just talking, we'll see that there are a few comments in bold. And if we open them all up, we'll see that they're indicated as being new. Civic Evolution will show only the more recent comments so that users don't need to plow through weeks and months of old comments. They'll be accessible, but we want to focus people on what's been said since their last visit and any context they may need to understand that. So this concludes our brief tour of the pages for developing the team's proposal. In another day or two, we'll be showing you the supporting pages, such as where do you sign up for a team, the, page, the team page that's seen by the public so they can read the proposal and comment on it, but of course not see any of the private team discussion or brainstorming. Thank you.